Hi, I'm Margaret Martin, registered physiotherapist at Miller Guide. I am here today to talk to you about our strongest muscle in our body, our gluteus maximus. So very important if you have had back pain, if you have hip and knee issues, that you get control of this muscle. So let's get started. The things that you need to know about this muscle, A, where it is, your gluteus maximus. This is when you put your hand on your butt or you look in the mirror and you see a nice rounded glute, that means you, your glute is working well. So many times when I look around and I assess clients, they have flat butts. So a flat butt means that other muscles have to start doing or have been doing the job of this gluteus maximus muscle. So what does that muscle do? So it is one of the strongest muscles in our bodies. It is responsible for extending the hip. So extension of the hip means when the leg goes behind us. Now, extension of the hip happens when we take a step. It happens when we're coming out of a chair. It happens whenever we come up from lifting. Now, we might be doing all of that and you still have a flat butt. Well, that's because you're using other muscles, which is why you end up with back pain or you end up with hamstring strain because those muscles are doing that, the job of the gluteus maximus. So if you want to you know, watch how I've broken down the integration of this muscle in a lot of really key exercises that we do, such as the alternating prone leg lift um, or the alternating leg lift on your stomach, the bridge, the squat, um, even the step up, um, all of these things are so, um, you know, kind of routine exercises, but I see it all over the YouTube channels and I see it um, even demonstrated in gyms that people aren't, they're doing the motion but not activating the right muscles. You might be asking yourself, um, how do I activate that muscle? How do I check if, I, if mine is working well? So first thing you could do is feel the muscle. So feel the muscle and then see if you can tighten both your butt cheeks together. Now, oftentimes people relate that to, oh, you know, I'm going to be farting and I'm going to squeeze, you know, my butt cheeks and I'm going to squeeze, you know, to, so I don't, you know, fart in public. Um, that's a deeper squeeze, usually around the anus. But what I want you to do is to actually feel that you're squeezing your butt cheeks, that you're creating some, some contraction, some tightening of that muscle underneath your hands. So that's part one. Just the ability to go to the brain, please tighten this muscle and please relax the muscle. I know it seems really silly, but that's where we start. And a lot of times people go, oh, I you know, never thought of actually tightening that muscle and I didn't realize how it was integrated into other things. So that's part one. But the other part that's so very important is your ability to control the muscle, both in what we consider concentric when you're tightening the muscle. So this would be concentric of my bicep. When you tighten your glute, that's concentric, but also eccentric the slowly slow ability to release the muscle. So it's like you go, I have really strong biceps, but I just can't control it. I just drop everything. That's the bicep not being able to control eccentric. Rarely happens with the biceps. I've never seen it in my 37 years as a physio because we've trained ourselves so many times to put things down carefully, but we don't do the same, same thing with our gluteus maximus. We, we, for the most part, don't even think about it. So I have an exercise for you to do before you, you know, go and look at all of the harder ways, you know, I'm gonna like, you know, do a deadlift, I'm gonna do a, a heavy duty bridge with weights on my pelvis. We have to make sure that these are the muscles you're activating. I want you to place just one hand now. You're gonna place your right hand on your right glute. You're going to think about tightening it just a little bit. 25% and then let it go. Good. Now you're going to go 25, 50, and then go back down 25 to zero. 
So you're just now learning to control that muscle. We're going to go back up like we're doing scales, 25, 50, 75, and now 100. You're tightening that muscle so hard all by itself. And you can go and check, are you tightening the left glute? I don't want you to tighten both. I want you to learn to control just that one glute and then slowly release it. So I'd say half of my clients go, yep, I can tighten it. But when they go to release it, they have such a hard time. They can go from 100 to zero. They don't have the ability to slowly release, which would mean, if I, you know, I'm picking something up, I can get my glute involved in it. But if I'm putting something down, I still want to have that good control of my glute muscle to work eccentrically. So once you've mastered the 25, 50, 75, 100, back down, then I want you to get used to, can I do the right, then the left, and then the right, and then the left, and just be able to go on and off. But you know, if you want to think of it musically, if you want to think about it mathematically in terms of contraction of the gluteus fibers, whichever way, but I need you to get control of that muscle so that you can get control of knee pain, hip pain, back pain, and moving well and safely. If you liked today's video, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to miss any future videos, that's what the notification button is for. And if you want to find out more about my books and my videos, you can look down in the description box below.